We have liftoff, roll program. Roll program is complete. Gravity turn. Thirty five hundred meters, everything looking good. Five thousand meters, three hundred and fifty meters per second. Eight thousand meters, four hundred and fifty meters per second. Twelve thousand five eighty meters per second. Eighteen thousand. Twenty five thousand. Approaching SRB uh, burnout and jettison. SRB. SRBs are done. Thirty three. Thirty six. Sound just went away. Fifty five. Looks like I'm going to be a little bit ahead of it. Okay. That's good. Just slightly up. Oh, wrong ones. <laughs> wrong orbit, wrong orbit. That's actually pretty deep. Well, yeah, I am high. I'm, I should say, I'm not high, I'm ahead of them. So let's do this. And. Bingo. Okay. And at that point. How are we doing on Delta V? We have 845 and uh, Maneuver Planner. I'm allowed to use this now. Oh, get rid of the fairing. Okay. And circ uh, we want to match. Believe it or not, I don't want to circularize. Well, it will end up circularizing, but I want to match the um, velocity with the target at closest approach. 400 meters per second, gonna leave me with 500 left over, yay. Okay. That's actually, I'm impressed with myself. It is a 10 second burn.
Now, I'm not bothering to use RCS right now because we have plenty of time. It's in 13 minutes, and the reaction wheels, what, what there are, are doing a good job. So this is our di different um, this uh, speed in relation to the target, which is our other uh, space station. Okay, so let's go a little bit of uh, hyper. Um, if me I can get mech jump, yes, there we go. Come on, mech jump, you can do it. Good boy, mech jump. Okay, we're going a little high to let him catch up, and. Actually, um, okay, we are two point three meters difference. From the target. Where is the target? Hello. Ah, uh, over there. Okay. There's the target, we're nine kilometers away. Target will be will be four point six kilometers close in ten minutes. Fine tune. Close is approached. Fine tune. Close is approached to target. Then we create node. Um, execute. going on. Got electric charge. Helps to say hit the abort. Actually, after this burn, I'm going to eject. I'm going to a stage because I don't need this, and it's just going to get in the way. Okay. Now, closest approach to there will be very close. Now we got. Now we stage three, two, one, and stage. Okay, great.
So the interesting thing is that this is not self-guided. So we're going to have to use the MMU to hook onto this end and to uh, actually do the docking. A balanced shuttle is a happy shuttle. <coughs> uh, hello, NorCal Planner. This is the Mark 2.5 uh, Space Plane Parts shuttle. It happens to be one that I maintain. It is, as the 2.5 says, it's a 2.5 meter shuttle. So you caught, your payloads aren't quite as big, which means you have to be a little bit more ingenious, in, uh, inventive, in cramming things in. You don't have a huge amount of space in your bay, in your shuttle bays. Oh. Okay, we should now be close. There we are. Okay. Point to the station. Well, actually, we are. We want to go retro. Um, target. And. Oh, could we? Could we traveling so slowly? Okay, I can live with that. That is a very good intercept. thing I don't have so when I balanced the shuttle I forgot to put in forward thrusters And I'm letting doing this with a reaction wheel. We got plenty of electric charge, and frankly, I don't want to use up all the monoprop. But I use that. I, I like having that available for the landing. Okay. Wait.
Yes, I know, I know. It's 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 something I'm ignoring because in reality you would you wouldn't let him do that. But it's this KSP. It's a game. And it's uh, suspension of belief. Ah. Basically, I'm going to get as close as possible without endangering either of us. And then Jeb is going to go over and grab the MMU and bring it back here. Dock with it over here. Then I'll undock the whole thing. And then I can go ahead and install it in where it belongs. Sorry for the slow pace, but, um, shuttle operations. Okay, that's good. That's what I like. Okay. I like how we're approaching a tail first. <laughs> little bit of time warping here. I want to be as close as possible so our orb so the difference in our Orbital movements will be minimal. Yeah, one time I tried doing a, a high-speed docking to a station. I missed. I missed the docking port, I should say. And then the station was no more. Okay, point zero nine. I can't. Don't think you can get much closer than that. Jebediah, it's time. For, actually, no. Valentina's turn. Jebediah had the fun last night. Okay. Oops. Let go. Reaction wheels. Okay, we're now boarded here. Okay. So, that is... I just want to make sure where it goes. That's going to go... Here. Or there. It doesn't really matter which one. Okay. Undock. Okay. RCS.
I'm actually paying more attention to this than over here right now. And we have a we have a successful docking there. Okay. And we notice what's going on with that. Okay. 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 So let's, let's get this undocked. Uh, decouple node. Come on, it just locked up. All right. 
Uh, come on, KSP, wake up. Normal engines need for what? 10 meters clearance. Hello, Tani. Didn't realize you were here. Not working right. Let me try this. Shut these guys down.
this again. First. Okay. I want to move that direction and down.
What's going on now? Oh dear. Yeah, the, the, the problem is that this is very unstable and not balanced at all. I tried to balance it, but didn't do a good job of it apparently. So now I bumped it and it's moving and it's going to be almost impossible to do it. Well, let's just do this at least. Yeah, I've used up more than half of my minor pop. I think I figured out why it was so weird. The docking port rotated. It's not the way I expected it to be. Thank you. 
Mother dear. Yeah, we Not working. Problems it's moving. If I hadn't been. And it's we and the balance is way off. And SAS isn't. It, I, th I was hoping SAS would stabilize me, but it's not. Let me just try one thing. Turn off SAS, turn on Smart Ass. Kill rotation. Try that. Okay. Target plus. Seems like this is better than SAS. Yeah, stock SCS is not nice. Why is it going further, faster away when I accelerate toward it? This is sucked up. And these guys aren't, aren't burning them, they should be. No, can't do it. I'm, I'm almost out of a mono club. It's ridiculous. No, I'm just going around in circles. Oh, 
I'm no. This is a, oh, this is a useless exercise. I'm not going to get it, but it's moving and this is balanced. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go back. I'm going to redesign this section so it's self-propelled and balanced, and ignore the MMU. I I, I mean the shuttle can ha can handle it, but. No, the reaction wheels aren't nerfed here. Interesting. And I forgot about time warp. Maybe I will get it. Very frustrating. Looks like I got it this time. Thank you for that hint about time warp. Finally. Oh God. Okay. Note to self, next time make sure everything has reaction wheels so they can stabilize themselves. Okay. Wait, now where's the shuttle? I did all of this. There it is. Okay, so expand the habitat. And now we can go back and rejoin the shuttle. Leave seat. <sighs> I'm so used to playing with um, my career game, I forgot that the time warping would stop the all rotation. The other thing which is going on, I, b I believe I have TAC um, fuel balancer installed. 
Uh, uh, um, not, not feel bad. Oh, whichever, whatever that mod is, which balances the engines. Get exactly what it is right now. Yeah, T yeah, throttle TCA, thank you. And I was noticing that it, it's... I've asked for help on the... I have some problems with it. I think I'm going to uninstall it. Because some of what was going on there, I was hitting the thrusters, and it was taking a second to actually work, because TCA was doing all its calculations. And no, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I've asked for help in the thread because... Um, so, Certain, I experienced some, some problems. I explained it, and nobody's replied. So, just one of those things. It may be very good for larger vessels, but not the stuff I'm using. So I think it's it's one of the ones which is going to go bye bye. Up oh, there's the shuttle. So first thing I have to do, one of the things I have to do is to um, add some forward thrusters to the to the shuttle, and then remove tech. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, excuse me just a second. Ah, uh, I'll one day I'll learn how to do this. All right, I just close all the all the bays. Okay. Thank you. Um. Where's the base? There we are. So that's where we want to land. Okay. Vent. Uh, prograde. Angle of attack. Fifteen degrees. Okay, so in order to land there, and I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the re-entry from, um, re from this altitude again. Okay.
There we go. 252 meters per second burn in 29 minutes. go away all right execute next node well before I do that f5 let's make sure the joystick is turned off Joystick is off. That. Okay. Go there. Okay, so we have a in 23 minutes, that's better. Hey, Karanex, I can't ditch it. I have to land this safely. I'm doing the shuttle challenges. Oops. Okay, so that's about where I want to be. Okay, so now let's go in here. Control from here. And SAS, go to prograde. And then close all bays. Now, I didn't... Oh, I know what happened. Do this. Urban. Vent. All good, yeah. Oh. Shut down the engine, and now we just wait. Wait for re-entry.
All right, let's go. We'll time up until we get some heating effects. Like right now. That's looking good. I don't know why trajectory keeps losing the target. Pulling it back in, and we're getting closer. Good. That's okay. I know it gets hot as long as it doesn't explode. Oh, you know, I didn't jettison the ox all the oxidizer. Much better at the entry. Nothing blew up. We're almost out of the uh, whatever. Of a manual control. Okay, I have control. Yes, I know. Whoops. Oh, crap. No, I don't have control. Damn it. Now I have control. There we go.
10,000 meters. That's a chase, right? Not really. There we go. A little luck, I don't even need to turn the engines on. A little bit high, but... That's okay. This is the best I've done yet in terms of being able to land without without the engines. I'm going to try, aha, to not turn them on. If I can land it, it'll be very good for me. My first time landing a shuttle safely where it belongs. Yeah, Tani, you know, it, it's just those, those little things in life. You're having control, knowing where your car is going, know where your uh, uh, airplane is going, knowing where your space shuttle is going to land. You know, just little things. We'll see. I happen to like the idea of the jet engines, but um, one of the reasons I'm doing the shuttle challenge is that I really haven't done shuttles up until now, and I wanted to learn how to do them. So, well, I asked the um, uh, the per I forget his name, but the one who's doing the shuttle challenge, I asked him if I could use. He, he says no autopilots in atmosphere. And I asked him, well, would I be able to use it for a straight and level if I had the jets on? And he said, for that, he was willing to let me do it. And so far, I haven't. Landing gear down. Wow. And the bloom on those lights, I'm running KS3P, which puts bloom on everything. Brace for impact. Wheels down, braking. Much better. Okay, I am going to use the engines to taxi back. Oh, come on, KSC, don't do this to me.
Shut down the engines. Down all engines. And we're done. It's racing now. Alright, good. Yes, I'm I saw him. I saw I saw his comments. He said that you should have it in, in a couple of days. And that's gonna be really exciting because KS3P is good, and that's gonna make it better. All right, mission accomplished. STS-6 is complete. Let's um, cover the vessel and have to recover the rest of them. Anyway, uh, it is...